have a DST and it shows on the controller um, different colors because it is a DST. We can actually display it in the correct colors just by going to the editor. So make sure that your screen is empty and when it's empty, go to the editor um, button. That would be L5. So press L5. And then you have your designs that are in your, um, in your controller. Right now I'm just going to choose the ZSK logo and hit select design. When I hit select design, you can see my design colors are a little off. Um, so now what I can do is I can go to the design information page and here I can go to the next page so I can see what needles I'm using. Go to the next page and uh, the next page. And in here where it's showing me the colors, I can go to this button, U1. Um, right now I am selected on needle three and it's showing green. So I wanna change that from green to blue. So I would have to have my um, sheet on how my design is, um, but I'm going to click this button. And here you can see the color bar that you can change the color um, with these scroll arrows. You can see this color is now changing, but one thing that's a little bit easier is extend design color setup. If I click here, I can now use my arrow key and you can see that it's highlighting, you know, different colors. So they're more like color chips. So I want to choose blue. I'll hit confirm, confirm. Then I will go to the next color. Then I will click on this button U1. I will go to extend design color setup. And this needs to be yellow. So I'll choose yellow and confirm, confirm. Go down to the next one and go to my color setup. This one will be red, confirm, confirm. And then the last one, 12, click on U1, extend design color setup. And I'm gonna choose black, confirm and confirm. One more time. And now you can see that just the display looks correct now. So I'm gonna exit out of there. I will store that design. I'll overwrite it. And now if I load that design, it will show the correct colors now. So I hope that helps.